Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff's Dark Gems. Today we're going to be doing a forbidden unboxing. What I've got right here is a box full of books that I'm not allowed to read. My first gift from my wife for Christmas. Stay tuned. Okay, so everyone, before we get going, I would just like to wish a very Merry Christmas season, very festive season, Happy Holidays, whatever, to all my friends out there, um, whether you be a subscriber, a fellow booktuber, uh, anyone that's been watching, even if you're watching for the first time, yeah, I just hope you have a wonderful season, festive season, um, and yeah, I'm thinking of you, stay safe and have a good evening, a good Christmas Eve and a wonderful Christmas tomorrow. I just want to remind everyone that I am doing the 100 book challenge. Now the 100 book challenge means that you have to read 100 books and this started in the 6th of November. You have to read 100 books before you're allowed to buy any other books and read any other books. Um, and at the moment I'm not doing so well. December has slowed me down a little bit. At the moment I'm on 21. Um, and I'm busy with my 22nd book, which is Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Um, now this is an awesome Christmas book, and I cannot wait to reread it. Uh, kind of a return to Christmas land. So it's just an excellent look at these colours. And this is, in my opinion, this is uh, Joe Hill's best book. Uh, it's just an awesome horror writer, and as good as his dad, perhaps. Some ways better, some people say. But yeah, he's a phenomenal writer, so I'm really going to enjoy this. Okay, so let's get stuck into my very first Christmas present. I've wrapped up nice little bow, and I'm like a little kid at Christmas, I just rip things off. I don't waste time with Christmas presents, but, you know, being all nice and wrapping, I just rip it all apart because I want to get to what's inside. Now, yeah, let's have a look. Now, I just want to remind you, so I'm showing these, I'm not allowed to read them at all until my 100 challenge is up and then I'm going to put them back in the box and I'm going to put the box away somewhere so that when I've complete, completed my challenge I can come back to it then. Um, so let's just get going. Uh, thanks my darling. Pleasure. Okay. <laughs> so first one, and I think I've got this, but I think it's in an omnibus and that is Graham Marston's Tengu. Um, and I think it's one of four four books in Omnibus and yeah I'm not going to spend too much time going at the back um, it's kind of dark now it's evening but yeah let's just go immune to pain invisible in combat all America would one day fear the masked warriors of the Tengu oh so okay it sounds like a, it says here Japanese mythology so yeah it could be kind of interesting Japanese mythology meets horror and I do love the cover Okay, next one. Richard Lehman. Ah, oh, now this is one I've been looking forward to. Um, this is one I've been looking for. It's apparently one of his better ones, his more gruesome ones. And that is Richard Lehman, The Woods Are Dark. The Woods Are Dark. Now, yeah, I heard this is one of his more, uh, I suppose, a little bit like kind of off-season thing. You know, where people go into the small town and then it's people that want to kill them and torture them and yeah this looks like a lot of fun the woods are dark okay next up ooh. oh man this is quite a cover this is called the portent by Marilyn Harris and oh but also look at those col colors um, and yeah even at the back it kind of carries on with that scheme almost like a kind of a What's it called? A Gunja style? It's like red and yellow and and green. Very, very weird. And it says, We have become a rare a race of technologically advanced imbeciles. Living in a world we don't understand and don't have any real desire to know anything more about. Thomas, a small town whose inhabitants are experimenting with communal living, a peaceful caring group. But without real warning, 
Their sanity and lives are threatened by outside forces they cannot control. So yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. That is the portent. Okay, and next up, whoa. Okay, I don't know if he'd see who this is. A, this is by John Sanford. Never heard of him. And it's called Eyes of Prey. Um, let's just look at the cover. It's a very interesting cover. And it says here, relentlessly swift, genuine suspense, excellence. So I'm not going to read the back of every single cover. Um, it does look here like it's almost like a psychological horror. Um, or some sort of serial killer. It says here, you had to get the eyes, cut them in their sockets, or they would haunt you long after the victims were buried. Okay, so basically you cut the eyes out of their sockets, or they haunt you. Right, sounds very interesting. Eyes of prey. Okay, next one, another Richard Lehman. And that is called Fiends. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed about every single Richard Lehman books, and I know she bought me these books because I've loved the ones I read this year. But Stephen King says, if you've missed Richard Lehman, you've missed a treat. Um, okay, in this particular one, it's only a trip to the movies, but it turns into Marty's worst nightmare when he sees a guy sitting behind her willy. Oh wait, sitting behind her. Willie, the man who raped her 10 years ago. Okay, sorry, I needed to get the punctuation right there. And now he's out of jail and looking for Marty. Marty's date says he's going to fix the creep. And the way he does it makes Marty sick. But when it comes to sick, there's no one to match Willie. He's a fiend. Okay. So, yeah. And it seems to be... I'm not sure. I think it seems to be a collection. Or a novel. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to it because I'm not allowed to read it. Been going layman, she's been going layman on me. Another one that I've heard about on BookTube, which I've been very interested to read. I've looked at some very good BookTube videos on this, and that is Richard Layman, The Island. Now, I don't think I need to tell you too much about the plot. Uh, obviously, people deserted on an island, uh, from what I remember on BookTube, and there's a crazed killer, and they have to somehow find a way to survive. Um, and yeah, I love this. And a little murder weapon there at the top there as well. And apparently this is one of his better ones. I'm not sure. But yeah, I think all laymen, you either love him or you hate him. He's very gory. Um, he does get kind of sick and twisted and pervy at times. But yeah, he's a lot of fun. And you can either handle him or you can't. That's the bottom line. So yeah, this is Island. And next up, oh shit. Another layman, baby. Not so layman here. Yeah. You had so many on your list. You what? You had so many on your list. Yeah, I did, I did, <laughs> I did. Okay, and this is Dreadful Tales, Richard Layman. Uh, this looks like a collection, obviously, Dreadful Tales. And so begin, begins the first tale in this terrifying collection of short stories. A de delicious cornucopia. Oh, no, cornucopia of homicidal maniacs, vampires, and lust-crazed teenagers that showcase the macabre genius of Richard Lehman, one of the best writers working in, this, in the genre today. That's by Cemetery Dogs. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. And, oh, looks like we've got a Stephen King here as well. Okay, I've read this book. This is probably, in my opinion, one of Stephen King's most terrifying books, if not his most terrifying novel, and that is The Shining. I have a copy, but I do not have a copy of this. Uh, man, that is an awesome cover. Um, um, actually, yeah, that is absolutely superb. So, hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with having more than one copy, if you're a bit of a collector, and yeah, this is just gorgeous. Here's Johnny. Next up, whoa, there's a lot of books here, baby. Hmm. Next up, Poe Must Die, a, 
descent into the black soul of a diabolic age. Poe must die. Um, okay, so I need to know what this is about a little bit. The world is threatened by ultimate evil when a mysterious black magician begins his search for the throne of Solomon. If it is hidden, no, oh, sorry, in it is hidden the knowledge for controlling Lucifer, Asmodeus, and all the legions of hell. To gain this power, he has left a trail of foul murders and sacrifices. This sounds like a lovely, gentle Christmas tale. In a desperate chase, he is pursued from the fog, drenched alleyways of Dickens, London, to the murky back streets of New York, teeming with thieves, grave robbers, hired assassins, and unspeakable vice. Then, in his way, stands, let me guess, frail but gallant, Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, I've never ever heard about this book before, but this looks very, very interesting. I'm not sure if it's a paperback from hell, seems like a lot of these are, but yeah, this is awesome. Thanks, my babe. My first and best Christmas present. <laughs> right. Ah! 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 And I've been wanting this. This is my wish list. That is a fireman by Joe Hill. Uh, now this is one of his more latest ones, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've read three Joe Hills up to date so far. And yeah, this, this I've heard good things. Actually, I've heard mixed things. But I want to read everything this man has written. And uh, I really love Nosferatu. I loved... Uh, no, I'm not going to go into the other ones now, but he's an awesome author, and yeah, I want to read everything by him, so this is a good find. Okay, what have you got next? Hey, another Richard Lehman. Okay, this is Richard Lehman Night Show. Sometimes real life can turn into a horror movie. Richard Lehman Night Show. Night show. It's quickly at the back. She looked up at the window and shuddered. The girl pressed against the glass, eyes wide open in horror, lips drawn back in a soundless scream of terror. That girl was her. That was her body, roughly seized from behind, the clutching hands cupping her. Okay, that's Layman, all right. Pinning her, thrusting her forward. It's also Layman. Uh, she looked up at her face as a shotgun blasted out. She saw the glass shatter, saw the buckshot slam into her face, saw skin, Features, flesh, disintegrate into blood and pulp. Cut, cut, said the director. Beautiful. Oh, so it was just a scene in the movie. Or maybe not. Right, next up. We have another one of my favourite authors. Fantastic. That is Dan Simmons' Fires of Eden. Now, I've never even heard of this. Uh, my book of the year, as you might have seen in my other video in my top 10 books of the year was Dan Simmons a Terror um, and there's nothing by this author that I have not loved uh, so yeah I'm looking forward to reading Fires of Eden I'm not going to go into the back of every single book um, yeah I'm not going to explore every single book but I'm just very happy to get another one from this author right what do we have next Paul Sayer The Stormbringer Tense and chilling. Look at the intensity of those eyes. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure what this is about. Um, actually, it looks more like a kind of mm, fantasy thriller, horror. Okay, I'm going to have to read a little bit. To the outer world, Myra and John are educated and affluent. Yet the walls of their pleasant York house contain two beings so wounded by a recent tragedy that all communication has broken down until their frozen lives are invaded by Alex, raw, coarse and vigorous. He is the antithesis of all the couple stands for. Yeah, so it looks like it's a little bit of a, a psychological thriller or horror thriller. I'm actually still not sure. But I'll get back to you when I'm able to read this. Okay, and then we get to those ones. The Shallow Grave and Other True Crime Stories From the Case File of Christian Boerter 
South Africa's foremost private investigator. Oh wow! So this is a South African true crime book. Um, yeah, have a look at the cover. So yeah, this looks very very interesting. I haven't read a lot of true crime this year. Um, this would actually be quite interesting for a South African read. Um, yeah, don't know much about it, but I'm actually quite excited for this one called A Shadow Grave. Okay, guys, we're getting there. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, now this is taking me back to my youth. Uh, this is taking me back to one of my favorite authors when I was a child. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is why. I but this is a book that's very close to my heart um, and I wouldn't mind revisiting maybe one day and that is Danny the Champion of the World by Roald Dahl uh, so yeah this is beautiful thank you baby for taking me back here the only thing I've got by this author is uh, Tales of the Unexpected back there and I've read everything by this author um, and he mostly writes children's stories so it's really a pleasure to get hold of this so that is Danny, the champion of the world. Okay. Another roll doll. <laughs> Another one of my very favorites. Roll doll, the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. Um, it's a collection of short stories. It is absolutely incredible. And this kind of, this, this book actually puts a little bit of a bridge between YA and adult. Uh, because there's some very smart stories. Um, with awesome twists and it will appeal very much to adults as well um, it's, it's very much just kind of twisting the tail um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this it looks like we've got another roll doll there as well ah very much a children's book but I'm glad to have it that is the BFG oh come on that's a beautiful cover now we're getting back to the true meaning of Christmas not all that other stuff I was talking about the big friendly giant illustrations by Quentin Blake in fact he illustrated a lot of his stories so yeah that's beautiful it's just lovely to own this again thank you my darling okay what have we got last book darker side 27 original stories from the most terrifying voices of modern horror Okay, so this collection includes uh, Simon Clark, Poppy Z. Bright, who else here? Uh, Richard Lehman, surprise, surprise. Uh, who else have I got here? Tim Levin, Brian Keane, uh, Caitlin Kernan. Okay, so there's a number of these that I, that I recognize, but yeah, it's always awesome to have a nice quality short story collection. So, it looks like that's it. Before you go, yeah. just take a look at the front of your crate. I just send a reminder there for you. <laughs> you can look but not read. Okay, I've read the back. That does not count, people. Okay, I haven't read these books. So, these books are going back in here. They're going to go in a cupboard somewhere. And I'm only going to read them when I have fulfilled my duty right here. A hundred books. And man, I've got a long way to go. But hopefully I can catch up with some of the other people that are on 30, 40 at the moment. But that's okay. I'm going to get there. hundred books before I read any of these and buy any more books for myself. I did not buy any of these books. So, there you go. Look, but not read. Thank you, my baby. Okay, everyone. So that is my video for tonight. Um, I hope you have a lovely Christmas Eve. I just want to remind everyone quickly that on Boxing Day, it is my one year birthday, my channel's one year birthday, it's my anniversary, and I'm going to be doing an anniversary uh, tag video, um, I'm going to be going into quite a lot of depth about the year, about people and all sorts of wonderful things, and I also think on my community tab, I'm going to pose a question tonight, um, I'll do a question and answer thing, so if you guys have got some questions you'd like me to answer, but I'll do that in another video, maybe that week or the week afterwards. Um, I don't want to mix the two together. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. 
and listen have a lovely lovely evening please take care of yourselves uh, if you enjoy my content please like and subscribe give me a thumbs up and until next time keep those pages turning and cheers